Hi, I'm going to show you a quick way to make a callout box or a label uh, using Motion 5. First, you start a new motion project. Shift Z, so you can see the whole screen. I found it easiest to use the Bezier tool. So you just start drawing. This will be the, uh, the line that goes to the object on the screen. Then I draw a box. We'll straighten it out here in a second. Don't quite close it up. Um, you can escape from that. Now it fills it in. You don't want it filled in, so just go to your inspector, turn off the fill. You got your line. I used about five the line width. Then come over and uh, select your edit point tool. That brings your points back up. So this is where we're going to straighten out the box. Okay, once you get it straight, next thing I did is went in and I lock all the points. I leave this one, I set it as the start point, right click, lock point, The last one is kind of tricky to do because you've got to put it right on that point and it won't always let you select to lock it because it's underneath on that point. So now you can move this one. None of the other points you can move. So that kind of locks the box for you. Uh, then what you do is you publish certain parameters of what you want. Um, so I did, you know, the shape outline. So once you take it into Final Cut as a, uh, a generator, you're able to change that color. I did the line width. I'll show you all this in F Final Cut. Um, next thing is key is go to the Geometry tab uh, here. Click on that. Now you can see point one is that top point, the set the start point. So you can move that. This point 0.7 is the other one that's piled on top here. You might be able to get it to lock. I haven't been able to hear, but anyways, I'll show you in Final Cut. I publish this, and that way it gives you the ability, once you take it into Final Cut, that you can move that point so the, your line will sit right on top of whatever object it is, no matter where it is on screen. You can put that right on top. You can put your text right in here. And then you have your callout box label. Um, another thing you can do, you can go to your properties. You can, you can publish the transform, transform. That way, like I say, anything you publish in here, you can get control of in Final Cut. I went to the Style tab. Uh, outline down here you can actually have it so it will write on and I publish that so if you go to transform there's nothing there but if you publish this so you could have a cool effect of it writing on screen so I publish this yeah this is a cheap easy way to make a call out box in motion 5 and I'll show you in uh, Final Cut what it looks like and you can go back and forth between Motion and Final Cut to tweak it, see what you need to publish to make it work exactly what you want and, and Final Cut. Okay, so I saved it and published it as a Final Cut generator. And I'll show you what it looks like. So go over to my generator tab, scroll down to a folder where I put it. 
Here's my call it box with text. Drag it on screen, generator tab, and it gives you all your published parameters that you that you saved. Um, first thing is you you can either drag it by transform, clicking on your your transform gives you that, and you can move it all around. So it'll move the text with it, or you can leave it centered wherever you put it. You know, I published the, the box position. So I can move the box. The text, you have to move separately. I, I did that so you could add your own text, you know, if you don't like the text style or, or the freedom you have with this, you can just get rid of the text. And just once you put your box in place, it was, you can put your own label in there. Anyways, you can move the box position. You can change the color. So let's say we want to label this over on the wall here. Because we saved this point, edit point up here, we didn't lock it, we published the uh, edit point, it gives me the control. So now I can move that edit point to anywhere I want on the screen, leaving the box where it was. All the other edit points show up, but they're locked, so it didn't affect that. You know, I can change the uh, the size of the lines, the color, so it matches the screen, so it it uh, stands out. I also did that where it writes on, so you could keyframe it writing it on, go to the beginning, set a zero, move into the scene, up the slider, and there it writes on. Some of the other parameters are where the text, you know, the font size. I can change the font size here because I I saved font in there, but like I say, you don't necessarily have to use it. I also set it the end text so you can make it type on by keyframing. You can move the text wherever you want in the box. And the other nice thing is you can just go to text, delete everything there. It's not there. You could go over and select your own text. Drop it on top, scale it, position it so it's right inside your box, and you got even more freedom. See, I could have the basic, you know, I could split it up. Anyways, that's a sh short, quick how to do a call out box label. Hopefully, it helped you. It's, uh, it's helped me, and uh, you know, let's pass on the tips. It's always good to help each other out.